as a developer, I want to get paid as much cash money as possible for my time and effort. However, there's a challenge to do this. And that is that the companies we work for, their businesses, they want to make money. So ideally, they want to pay you the least that they can. Now, one way to make sure that you maximize your salary is to have a good awareness about what the market average is for the technology that you specialize in. So watch this video. I'm going to cover the US and the UK job market, and hopefully you're going to learn some tips that will help you get paid more cash money. So the process that I used to pick the languages that I wanted to review today was super simple. I basically used the latest dev survey over at Stack Overflow. I looked in the most popular technologies and I picked the 10 most popular languages here. OK, so we're going to be kicking things off by looking at the salaries within the United States and we'll be using a website called Glassdoor to calculate everything. Now, we're starting off with the worst salary, and this is probably going to surprise a few people because it's TypeScript developer. Now, this has got a pay range between 75K and 121K. Now, surprisingly, there's only been one salary uploaded to Glassdoor, but the average works out at 101,555 bucks per year. In ninth position, we have SQL developer with an average pay range between 88K and 122 with the average being slightly higher with 111,000 bucks per year. In eighth position, we have PHP, but this time we have a range between 79 and 138K. And this is based on 600 plus salaries. And this gives us an average of 111,088 bucks. So basically around the same as SQL. The seventh position language is one for the mobile devs out there, and that's Kotlin. So here we've got a range between 82 and 134. Now, this data has only been based on five salaries. So this is a lot less compared to PHP, but this also ties into the Stack Overflow developer report because Kotlin was at the bottom of the list. Now for Kotlin, the average works out to be 112,175 bucks per year. Next up, we have Go. This time we've got a salary range between 84 and 135. Now this has only been based on five salaries. So this kind of is in line with Stack Overflow as Go is down the bottom of the popular technology list. Now this basically works out as 113,902 bucks per year. In fifth position, we have Python. So we're getting to some of the big hitter languages here. Now this time we have a pay range between 84,000 and 135. This time we've got the data from 2000 plus salaries. So we know it's a popular language. And this basically means that our average is 114,383 bucks per year. So a good language to look into. Next up, we have JavaScript with a pay range between 88,000 and 144. And this is based out of 304 salaries, which is a little bit surprising for the most popular language in the world right now. Now, if we look at our average, you can see this time it's 122,684 bucks per year. Next up on the list, we have .NET, C Sharp, whatever you want to call it. This time we have a slightly higher base pay from 99 to 139. And this has been based out of 4,700 salaries, so one of the most. And this gives us an average of 125,474 bucks. Now, in fourth position, we have Ruby. So with Ruby, we've got a base range of 98 to 177K, which is not bad. And this is based out of 41 salaries. Next up, we have a joint third place winner. Now, the reason for this is that Glassdoor basically combines C and C++ into one. But in the third place, we have an average salary of 104 to 169K. But this has only been based from three salaries. And the average for this is 144,187 bucks per year. So this brings us on to the second best paid language, and this is Java. So according to Glassdoor, the range here is between 103 and 161. And this is based out of nearly 700 salaries. And this gives us an average of 153,442 bucks per year. So we're now finally down to the best paid language and the number one spot surprisingly goes to Rust. 
So Rust has a pay range of 107,000 to 173,000, but this is only based on eight salaries. And the average for this is an impressive 159,406 bucks per year. So congratulations to Rust. So did that data surprise you at all? Now, for me personally, the thing that really surprised me from that US data is that C Sharp was by far the most reviewed language. So arguably the most popular. Now, personally, I was expecting TypeScript or JavaScript to be at the list. Uh, Python doesn't surprise me at all, but it's something to consider. Now, the other thing I think we can summarize is that if we split our language here, is that the languages at the bottom here, you can see that these are typically the most popular languages in that Stack Overflow survey. And these are also the least paying jobs. And if we look at the least frequently used jobs, you can see that these are typically the most paid ones. Now, if you're watching this and you're a junior developer and you're trying to figure out how to increase your salary, then one important takeaway you should take from this is that in development, if you specialize or niche down in certain kind of less popular technologies, typically you are going to get paid a lot more money compared to going with the mainstream. Now, the trade off, and it is a trade off, is that it'll be harder for you to find work. And if you live in a big city, things are brilliant. But if you live in the middle of nowhere, then that's going to be much harder. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that if your speciality becomes out of favor in a few years time, then you will struggle to find work and you're going to have to basically reskill yourself and learn something else. So they might be a lot more effort and learning throughout your career than if you niche down. Now that covered the US job data. Now let's have a look at the UK job data and let's see if there's anything different here or if there's anything new that we can learn. Okay, so the tool that I'm using to get the UK job data is itjobwatch.co.uk. And in 10th position, we have PHP. So this was towards the bottom of the list in the US data as well. This time you can see that this is overall 155 in the most popular languages. So very different compared to the Stack Overflow stuff. And you can see here that the median salary is $50,000. So a lot less compared to the US. And overall, you can see that this is based on 1,530 jobs, which have been advertised in the last six months, down 10% in salary over a six month period. The next language is SQL. And this again mirrors the US data where it wasn't the best Pay performer in that list either. Now, the good thing about SQL is that rank wise, it's number one in our list here. So, number 10 overall, over 10,000 jobs that are looking for SQL, but the median salary here is £57,500. Next up, we have C. Now, C has the same base salary as SQL, so £57,500. The difference here is C is way less popular. So it's coming in at 151 overall, and this is actually an 80% gain in the last year. So C is getting popular again. But the difference is, you know, we can only see that there's 1,500 active jobs for C in the last 12 months. So probably not a good candidate to learn. So in at number 10 spot is apparently the most popular language in the world today, and that is JavaScript. So looking at our data here, uh, JavaScript's actually in number 19 position. So down four spots, not number one, but the median salary here is £6,000 per year. And we can see that there's been 6,800 jobs which have been advertised in the last 12 months. Next in the list, we have C Sharp. So C Sharp's got a median salary, the same as JavaScript, 60000 a year. Now we can see that this is at 18th position. Uh, apparently it's got more popular than JavaScript in the last year in the UK. And we've got 7,014 jobs. But again, we can see there's a downward salary trend in the UK, which sucks. Next up, we have C++. So this has been around for a while, but the median salary here is 62,500. And in terms of popularity, it comes in at 156, uh, downtrending 30 positions in the last year. And next up is Ruby, 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 Ruby. Uh, sorry about that. And with a median salary of 65,000, that's not too bad. Now, in terms of ranking, Ruby isn't the best, down at 338, and it's dropped 58 positions recently. Next up, we have the big dog of Python. 
So Python has a median salary of 67,500. Uh, so far, I think this is the second most popular language coming in at 15. So it's beating C sharp in JavaScript. It's actually dropped four positions in the last 12 months. We can see there's a bunch of jobs here. So it's 7,945 jobs average. So we finally made it to the top five languages. And can you guess what any of them might be? So in fifth position, we have Java. So with Java, you can see that we've got a median salary here of £70,000. Uh, overall, actually, surprisingly, it's below C sharp. So 23rd overall, dropped six positions recently. And we can see that there's 6,000 jobs being advertised for it. Do not be a bore because in position four, we have TypeScript. Now, TypeScript comes in in a ranking of 81 overall, and the median salary here is 70,000, exactly the same as Java, down three positions from last year. And we can see that there's been a total of 2,636 jobs. I need a P, however, in position three, we have Rust. And we can see that Rust has a median salary of 82,500. Now, ranked overall, it comes in at 537, up 240 positions overall. And we can see that there's 292 jobs being advertised. So we're down to the final two, and in a second position is Kotlin. So the median salary here is pretty good, 85,000. Now, in terms of popularity, we can see it's 398, down 50 positions in the last 12 months. And we can see that there's 982 active jobs. And this leads us to our winner. Actually, it's a joint winner with Kotlin, and the language is Go. So Go has the same median salary, 85,000. The difference here, though, is popularity, because Go comes in at 284. Now it's dropped 114 positions in 12 months. We can see here there's double the amount of jobs compared to Kotlin with 788. So now we know the data, what does this mean? Well, again, taking this kind of bird's eye level view, if we split things in the middle here, I guess you can say that typically the more popular languages, again, they pay a little bit less and the less popular languages, they pay a little bit more. Now, just in terms of number of jobs applied, I think, again, another surprising thing is C Sharp is pretty high up in this list. Now, if you look at any dev survey, you'll always see that C Sharp is, you know, number nine, number 10, always down the bottom and it's always less popular than Java. However, based on the research I've done, you can see that C Sharp is actually a lot more popular than probably people think it is. Right, now that we've looked at the data, I think there's three important things to quickly say. So the first one is that if you're a developer and you're specializing in any of the languages that we reviewed, however, you're getting paid less than the mean, then I challenge you to set yourself a goal to get paid the mean or above and do whatever it takes to get to that goal speak to your manager, do some research, ask for a pay rise, but it's on you. Now, the second thing is that if you're struggling to get a job and a lot of people complain that JavaScript is oversaturated, then you've seen there's some less popular languages which can actually pay you more money. So maybe you want to learn something different. And the third thing is just around perceivedness. So I'm not sure that's a word, but basically, when you look at Stack Overflow, you can see that things like JavaScript's number one, C Sharp's down the bottom. But when you actually look at the data, things can be a little bit different compared to the perceived development popularity. So that's it. I hope you've got some value from understanding this because being more informed about how people get paid can only help you to get paid more money. Now, if this sort of thing is your jam, then don't forget to smash on the subscribe button to get my weekly videos. Now, about 12 months ago, I used to do a bunch of these salary type videos, so I stopped doing them. So if you did like this video, let me know by clicking on like, and I'll start doing some more career tips. Now, aside from that, before we part ways, if you're really interested on how you can recession proof your job in times of struggle, then on the screen right now, you can see a video that I recorded, which will give you some good career tips. So aside from that, hope you're having an epic week. And until next Sunday, happy coding.